Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here I am in my tiny, tiny uh, renovated um, man cave, if you will. So let's not waste any time guys. Thanks for uh, dropping by. Thanks for taking the time out of your day, evening or night uh, to watch this video. Uh, let's get right into things. So this is first on court for the Puma Clyde All Pro. They arrived at my house on a Thursday. I wore them in the house for 10 minutes and that was it. The next time I laced them up was Friday night at the gym. The gym, the Friday night gym, it's a clean court. Um, I did not play in the original insoles. I put in my soft sole insoles. And I played in a, a single pair of socks. Um, average, like average thickness. I think there were some Nike or whatever. So when I laced them up uh, in the house, they felt fine. They felt good. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, this seems fine. But of course, we all know that doesn't really tell you too much. Now, when I got to the gym, I noticed when I tied them like good, like how I usually tie up my shoes, there was still a little bit, uh, something left to be desired there. It wasn't quite to the foot. Um, there was a little bit of, a little bit of volume, particularly in midfoot and up in the toe box. Now, the lengthwise, um, I bought an eight and a half, which tends to be my new regular size. Uh, lengthwise was fine. My toe just had a little bit of room and that's what I like. But uh, just the volume around the midfoot was, it wasn't quite locked down. Also, I noticed like um, right away, like as soon as I laced them up and started kind of moving around, the, the material of the upper wasn't as soft as I thought it would be. Um, it was kind of like a crumple zone-ish where it was kind of going into my toes, but I was like, oh, whatever, it's all good. I just, it's the first time to wear them. So anyways, started shooting around. Like I noticed immediately the traction was like squeak, squeak, squeak. And I also noticed immediately that the cushioning in the back half, there's that p um section, puck, I think is the term, uh, that is also um, accompanied by the, um, I think it's called Pro Foam, Pro Foam Plus. Uh, the cushioning in the heel was great. Um, I was just doing a few moves on purpose to get a feel for it. Uh, so yeah, the cushioning was there, traction was there, but kind of like sense of security, if you will, in terms of fit fit was still lacking. Anyways, I played the entire night. We played six games and I don't, I'm not sure why, but we played seven minutes this time and I went all out. Um, and all I can say was by the end of the night, um, I don't really need to mention anything more about traction and cushioning. I have to say, during those six games, I felt a little bit, um, a little bit skittish, a little bit sketchy, just because I couldn't quite get that fit fit. And I was surprised, you know, um, like I know, I know I've got skinny feet, but usually like if you pull on the laces good, at least usually you can get some good lockdown, which wasn't the case. So that was just the first night. And um, then I found out I was going to play uh, the next night, which was last night. So uh, for sure, I had no doubt I was going to play in the shoes again. And I, I had a good feeling like, oh, I'm sure it'll be better this time. You know, materials are broken in a little bit more now. Maybe it conformed to my foot a little bit more. Maybe I can get, you know, the laces to, in terms of materials broken down more and get it closer to the foot. So anyway, so last night I played. Now I, I changed a few things up. Uh, I took out my soft sole insoles and I put in the original insoles. Then I also, what I did was I double socked, but um, not to some like, you know, crazy, not crazy amount of thickness. I had my regular uh, performance uh, Nike sock and I just wore like a, a fairly thin-ish uh, Adidas sock underneath. So got to the gym, laced them up. The, the shoe definitely fit better. Um, taking a few things into consideration. It's kind of like plus one, minus one, because the ortholite insoles from Puma uh, take up less volume than my soft sole insoles. But then whoop, I double socked, right? So it's kind of like, mm, give and take. But anyways, uh, I started playing and I was surprised. I hate to say it, I was slipping. And I've heard nothing but fantastic things about the traction traction on Friday night was not a problem whatsoever. 
But last night I was slipping. I was surprised. I've actually put it in my Instagram. I played four games, I think, and I switched. Yeah, I took these things off. I took them off and I, uh, I just by chance, I brought these with me and I put these on, um, which have phenomenal traction, by the way. However, I did talk to a couple of friends that night and they, or last night after we all finished and everything and they're like, they said like, yeah, the gym was kind of, uh, it was a little bit slippery. So, um, I definitely will continue to play in them and hopefully things get better in terms of fit. There's always kind of combinations with socks and insoles that you, you can play around with to get a good fit if need be. Um, I do like the materials, the materials and the fit in the upper, or sorry, the, how it felt. It, with the materials last night was a lot better. They were softer, they broke in. The, there's a lot of plush, plush um, cushioning around the heel, which is really nice. I love the thickness of the tongue. However, what I don't like is uh, the coverage of the tongue. I, I kind of made this a point when I talked about the crossover culture sniper. Um, that tongue on that shoe isn't as thick, but the, the coverage is a lot better. Like it's a lot wider. So that's too bad. That's something that I do like is just kind of having, you know, when you have the walls of the shoe come up and then underneath that, you have a nice like coverage, like continuation with coverage from the tongue. You know what I'm saying? So that's too bad. Uh, not a major, major thing, but um, yeah. I uh, like the weight. The weight of the shoe is phenomenal. I find a lot of people say like, oh, it's Kobe-esque, it's Kobe-esque. And even more so, some people compare it to the Kobe 9. I had the Cobra 9 Lows, the Moonwalker, I had the Christmas Highs and the, um, and another model. But anyways, I find this, sorry people, don't get offended, I find this better. Um, the cushioning, um, the traction, ah, uh, traction, yeah, I mean we all know Kobe 9 is way up there. But I find that the transition and cushioning is way better. Uh, another thing I was intrigued about when I was reading the um, information on the American website, it talked about the like a propulsion plate in the front half uh, I didn't feel anything you know nothing stuck out there it has a, a nice flow to it you know transition from heel to toe it's got quite the angle um, which is nice you know when you're going uh, south to north but anyways not disappointed but could have been better but you know it is what it is it's only been two sessions so yeah I, I definitely will play with it I don't know when I'm gonna play again to be honest next weekend is pretty crazy but I will I will and if worse comes to worse it'll be a casual shoe for me because they're extremely comfortable and I got them on, a, on my wife actually found them really cheap cheap online so I don't feel so bad Okay guys, so that was it for the two nights. Um, I know a lot of you guys enjoy this shoe and have nothing but great things to say about the shoe. And I can see, I can concur like where you're coming from. If the, um, that, that, that one factor, if I, if I had a better snug fit, um, then yeah, I, have, I would have more to say. And uh, yeah, it's too bad the um, Saturday night gym was too slippery. Okay guys, uh, that is me rambling. That is the experience and the things that I remember, things that stick out uh, from the last two, two sessions. Okay guys, if you have any, <clears throat> if you got any questions, any comments, any tips, uh, let me know. Let me know in the uh, comment section. Um, say what you gotta say. And uh, I'd love to uh, hear from anyone who uh, plays in the shoot. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, take care. Again, thank you very much for uh, joining in and taking the time to watch the video. And hopefully I'll see you sometime in the future. All right, guys, peace.